Leo. So this is going to be your month ahead prediction for September 2022. Uh, if you're interested in a love focused reading, I did do a September love predictions pick a card reading. It was uploaded before all these horoscope videos. So you can go ahead and check that out. Of course, love messages can pop up in these readings. So um, that may be a thing. I do encourage you to watch your sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements so you get the most comprehensive prediction for the month ahead. So we are starting off with an oracle card. And for you, you got Ascendant. So it's number 35 and it says Entrance. So this speaks about how you kind of enter the world and how people see you when they don't know you very well. Ascendant is also your rising sign. It's kind of used interchangeably. And so it's calling you to kind of take notice of how others see you and whether that matches what your real intentions are and how you want to be seen in the world. Um, the other part of this is, like I said earlier, you should be watching your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements, but particularly your rising placement will be relevant in the month ahead. So if Leo is not your ascendant or rising sign, uh, do make sure to watch that and see what messages come across for you because that is coming through as a big part of your month. So I'm going to put that here for you and we're going to get into it with tarot. Let's see in the month ahead for Leo, September 2022. We are starting off with a page. Sorry, let me move that page. So something new, You're starting something new. Or alternatively, this could be a young person that's relevant in your life that's an earth sign. It's also possibility here. Okay, so you're ending something and starting something new is what I'm seeing here so far. You're moving on from it peacefully and gracefully. Let's see what the situation is. lots of swords energy so you have a lot of thoughts and ideas going through your head right now and they may feel very overwhelming like you can't make up your mind what direction to go in despite the fact that you're ending something and wanting to start something new you feel a little hesitant to move on from something Yeah, you're holding on to something. It could be a work situation. I'm getting pentacles and swords. So you may be thinking through a lot of options or just ideas of where you want to go, what you want to do, what opportunities you want to pursue or make for yourself. But you're being very hesitant and careful, which is fine. Obviously, you know, what you do to make a living or feel fulfilled in your life day to day on your own is very important so you should treat it as a very you know important decision in your life you want you seem to want to have this like new journey new adventure new opportunity um but you also feel the need to like hold on to something hold on to the past hold on to something that feels like it's more secure just because you're familiar with it first major arcana the chariot um connects to the sign of cancer 
Um, it's also the card of direction, of movement, of progression, of victory. So I do see you being more decisive as you head towards perhaps the latter part of the month. Um, you kind of um, are in this energy at the beginning, really like thinking through your options and your ideas of what you can do, where you can go. And then there's a turning point where you just become decisive and you know what you want. We have the Hierophant that connects to the sign of Taurus. Um, this is the very opposing energy, actually. The Hierophant is very, like, status quo, like, kind of like the Four of Pentacles. If you just stay where you are and you keep doing what you're doing and you don't make radical changes, whereas the Chariot's very, like... Um, movement direction progression rather than staying in place so it is kind of a conflicting energy and i do see that in all the cards that you're kind of having this conflict of being like i know what i want let me go do that let me just start but also oh i actually want to just stay where i am and not move on um so i do see that conflicting energy on the inside and it's up to you of course with your free will you can choose to stay or go but you need to explore kind of what is the best decision for you it's not always I know um people in general like the world society in my opinion I always think people tell you to like just move on just progress that's not always the best decision you need to make the best decision for yourself if staying is something that you feel called to do or like holding on to something staying in a situation is what you feel called to do rather than to rush ahead and charge forward like the chariot energy um you need to make the best decision for it yourself don't just listen to um society telling you that you always need to progress um you can take a minute to see your options and really lay it out and think about what's best for you and that may not be progress that may not be taking an opportunity that may be staying where you are for a minute because that's what's best for you or it could be that you do want to charge forward it's really up to you and that's what the two of wands is about is kind of like planning out the future seeing what's ahead and uh, deciding where it is you want to go Oof. okay my cards are going everywhere um, we have the four of wands so the four of wands is kind of a similar energy to the four of pentacles in that fours are like stable so it seems like you're seeking a lot of stability it could be in relationships it could be in work i see it a little bit more relating to work but you're seeking out some sort of stability and you're feeling like you want that but you also have a kind of impulse to charge forward move on take on a new journey a new opportunity um, so there is a bit of a conflict there and you need to really sit down and evaluate how you feel about either choice um, or either direction and make the best decision for yourself um, yeah neither decision is wrong it's just what is the right decision for you in this situation right here right now if you need to make a decision and you can always change your mind so you choose something now it's nothing is ever absolute in this world so except for death maybe <laughs> but uh, <laughs> you can always change your mind you choose to stay and then later you choose to go you know Suddenly, no cards want to come out. Oh, we got the Page of Swords. I see, like, delayed messages coming, so that may come really late in the month and affect your 
decisions. Like there may be people coming in with messages or information or just a conversation you randomly have that it pushes you towards one direction or another, whether to stay or whether to leave, whether to hold on or whether to progress forward. Uh, so it may take you a while to ponder this decision. Oh gosh, you have another two. Yeah, you're very like trying to think of your options right now. You have the two of swords, the two of wands, and the two of pentacles. So you're really like balancing out and thinking like, what is the best course of action for me? And I do see it relating to work primarily or a project or school or something like that. So let's get a few oracles for you. Oof, we have confidence and space. So give yourself the space to really uh, contemplate your options so that you can feel confident in the decision that you ultimately make for yourself don't rush yourself don't pressure don't give in to like pressure of like what people around you tell you to do um just go with the flow claim your independence that goes very well with what i've been talking about so make sure you make this decision for yourself um and not for anyone else okay i'm gonna grab numbers for you and then we're gonna be done with the reading Oh my gosh, that's a lot. There you go. <laughs> oh, you got five. Okay, so these can be important dates or just numbers in general. So you have 23, five, seven, uh, 12, and three. So Leo, I hope that resonated with you. I hope it was helpful. Don't forget to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements uh, so you get a nice comprehensive prediction. And if you're interested in love messages, uh, definitely check out the September Love Predictions Pick a Card reading that I uploaded earlier. Uh, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my videos, and I will catch you all in my next prediction.